everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all safe and are doing okay. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dorotea. I make crochet patterns and tutorials and share them here on YouTube and my blog Kruby Patterns. If you like what I do and you would like to see more crochet tutorials and studio vlogs in the future, consider subscribing and turning on the notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet turban. It's pretty simple to make, no special techniques or stitches needed. I'm going to show you how to make one in a newborn size and the rest of the sizes will be included in the PDF pattern. You can find the written instructions for this size on my blog and all the links will be in the description box of this video. With all this said, let's start with the materials you're going to need for this project. So you're going to need some yarn. We are going to talk about yarn in just a second, then a 5mm crochet hook or hook to obtain the gauge, a couple of stitch markers and a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. The yarn I'm going to use for this pattern is this beautiful skein of Drops Paris yarn. This is 100% cotton yarn, mine is in color beige, but of course you can use the color of your choice. I will need one full skein of this cotton yarn for my newborn size. There is around 75 meters or 82 yards of yarn in each skein, just so you know approximately how much yarn you are going to need for this pattern. All right, if you have all the materials you need, let's start working on the turban. We are going to start with our largest panel and that is the one that goes around the head, very similar to the headband. We are going to need our yarn and 5mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, insert the hook into the loop. Now we are going to create a foundation chain made of 47 chains. When you have that, skip the first chain and insert a hook into the second one. We are going to be using back pumps. Let me explain it a little bit more in case this is your first time using that technique. The foundation chain has two sides. If you look at those two sides from the top down, you can see one side with two loops, very similar to any row of stitches, remember, from the top down. And the second side is the side with one loop only, and that is the one that we are going to use in this tutorial. Our first row is made of basic single crochet stitches made into back bumps of the foundation chain. Like I've mentioned before, skip the first chain, this chain is going to be our turning chain, and insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You have two loops loops on your hook. Yarn over, grab the yarn and pull it through all the loops on your crochet hook. That is your first single crochet stitch. From now on is very simple. Just continue working one single crochet into every foundation chain all the way to the end of the row. That would be 46 single crochet stitches in total. I prefer to use back bumps of the foundation chain because this gives additional stretch to the fabric and when you complete the whole panel, both ends of the fabric, top and bottom, will look the same, so you can turn it either way around. But if you are really struggling with finding the right loop, just use the loop of the foundation chain that you normally use. Working into back bumps is just a little bonus technique that is nice to use, but of course optional. Pause the video here, finish the stitches and come back. We have now successfully completed our first row of single crochet stitches. The second one and all the rows that will follow will be made of single crochet stitches, but those single crochet stitches will be done into back loops only. So let me show you how to do that. Let's start the row with chain 1. This chain 1 will be our turning chain. When you have that, look at your work from the top down. You will see that the single crochet stitches from the row below has two loops. It's very simple. The loop closer to you is called front loop and the one further away from you is called back loop. 
Now we are going to insert the hook between those two loops and we are going to go below the back loop. You're going to create a single crochet stitch around that loop and you will leave the front loop undone. This will give your fabric rip stretchy look and feel that you see on our finished turban. Now that you understand the idea behind the single crochet stitches made into back loops only, continue with stitches all the way to the end of the row. Pause the video here, finish the stitches and come back. Row 3 is exactly the same as row 2. Start the row with chain 1 as your turning chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row, but into back loops only. You're going to continue working in rows. Do not lose or add any stitches along the way, that's very important, and continue with your rows until you reach row 18 or the number of rows you need depending on the size you're working on. We are now at the end of row 18, just two stitches left. I'm going to finish the row, then I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to pull the yarn and through that last loop. Let's start with the panel number two. This is a piece of fabric that goes over the top of the head. This one is a little bit more advanced. We are going to make a bunch of increases and decreases on this panel. You can see that from its shape. We are going to stay with the yarn and hook we were using so far, so 5mm crochet hook and iron weight yarn. Let's start with the foundation chain made of 6 chains. We are going to start in the second chain from the hook and we are going to use back pumps again. If you are not comfortable using this technique, don't worry, you can use any loop on the foundation chain, just stay consistent. Work one single crochet into each of next four chains. Now work two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now you should have six stitches in total. From this row on work only into back loops, create two single crochet stitches into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each of next five stitches. Row 3, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 6 stitches, work 2 single crochet stitches into the last stitch.
row 4, chain 1 and turn your work, start the row with 2 single crochet stitches made into the same stitch, then work 1 single crochet into each of next 7 stitches. Row 5, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 8 stitches, work 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Row 6, chain 1 and turn your work, work 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch, then work 1 single crochet into each of next 9 stitches. This is now our last row where we are going to increase our stitch count by one stitch. So row 7, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 10 stitches, then work 2 single crochet stitches into the last stitch of the row. You should now have 12 stitches in your last row, count your stitches and make sure you have enough rows in your panel and enough stitches in your last row. If everything looks great, continue with a few simple rows of single crochet stitches. These are going to be very simple, we are not going to add or take away any stitches. For rows 8 to 11, chain 1 and turn your work, then work one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches. And that's it. You can pause the video here, finish your rows and then come back and I will show you what to do next. From this row on we are going to decrease each row for one stitch until we reach the same amount of stitches that we've had in our very first row of this panel. Let's start with row 12, chain 1 and turn your work. Join the first two stitches with a single crochet to together stitch, then work one single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Row 13, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 9 stitches, join the last 2 stitches with a single crochet 2 together stitch.
row 14, chain 1 and turn your work, join the first two stitches with a single crochet to together stitch, then work one single crochet into each of next 8 stitches. Row 15, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 7 stitches, then join the last 2 stitches with a single crochet to together stitch. Row 16, chain 1 and turn your work, join the first 2 stitches with a single crochet 2 together stitch, then work 1 single crochet into each of next 6 stitches. Row 17, chain 1 and turn your work, work 1 single crochet into each of next 5 stitches, then join the last 2 stitches with a single crochet 2 together stitch. Row 18, chain 1 and turn your work, join the first 2 stitches with a single crochet 2 together stitch, then work 1 single crochet into each of next 4 stitches, and that's it! Now cut the yarn, fasten off and leave a long tail that we are going to use later for sewing. Let's start with the last panel, panel number 3. This one is just a strap that will help us gather the fabric together. It's made of two rows, so one row of half double crochet stitches and one row of single crochet stitches. Now take your 5mm crochet hook and iron weight yarn and create a foundation chain made of 13 chains. Start in the second chain from the hook and work one half double crochet into each of next 12 chains. Work into back bumps only and don't forget to insert the stitch marker into your first stitch of the row. To create a half double crochet stitch, yarn over first, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull the yarn through, yarn over again and pull the yarn through all the loops on your crochet hook and that's your half double crochet stitch.
Row number two, chain one and turn your work, work one single crochet into each of next 12 stitches. When you have that, cut the yarn, fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. Now we are going to assemble all the pieces together. We have our panel number one that goes around the head, panel number two that goes over the top of the head, and panel number three that will help us gather together the fabric on the front. We are going to join panel number one and two first. Place the panel number one on a flat surface, take two stitch markers and mark 18 stitches right in the center of the panel. When you have that, take panel number 2 and attach the straight edge to the panel number 1. To those 18 stitches we've marked with 2 stitch marker just a second ago. You can see here my yarn ends are a tiny bit too short, that's why I will be using additional yarn to join those two panels together. I will be using a blanket stitch technique to assemble the pieces together, but you can use any stitch you like as long as the pieces are nicely secured and the head won't fall apart. So with the blanket stitch I will go through the same stitch twice just to anchor the first stitch and with that our yarn end. And as you can see here I'm creating a loop around the edge and before I finish the stitch I poke the needle under the stitch going sideways and then I pull the yarn to tighten the stitch so it's nice and even. And I repeat that all the way across to join both panels together.
Now hide the yarn tails, turn the turban right side out and you are done. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of the future videos. As always, you can find more crochet tutorials on my blog and my pattern shops. I will leave all the links down below. Have a nice day, stay creative and I see you guys very soon. Bye!